Hi makers! In this video I will show you how to assemble this mini Tesla coil kit. When you turn it on, it has a tiny spark. But the best thing about it all? Well, it can play music. In fact, the actual sound is coming from the spark. This kit will cost you around 10 bucks including shipping. For tools you will need a screwdriver, a soldering iron, some solder and a pair of nippers. Pretty cool isn't it? Hang tight if you want to watch how to build it. So first off, the unboxing. Don't expect any gift wrappers here, the kit comes in the usual mailing bag. Opening it up and you will find another bag. Opening that one up and you will find another bag. And opening that one up and you will find all the parts. First here is the coil, the biggest key component. The ends of the copper thread are secured to the coil with small red stickers or at least they were. Some other pieces are screws, power and audio jacks, a transistor, a small light bulb, some resistors, a regulator, heat sinks, a ceramic and electrolytic capacitor, a piece of wire, a red and blue LED, an audio cable, the PCB, some thermal grease for the heat sinks and an instruction manual in Chinese. Well, I guess I just have to figure it out myself. Anyway, here the manual lists all the components. I measured the properties of the resistors with my multimeter and marked them. If you don't have a multimeter, you can check the color coding. I then inserted them into their marked holes on the circuit board. I came to the LEDs, but since this is in Chinese, I can't read which is which color. And it doesn't say anything on the PCB either. I'm lucky there is a product image. The electrolytic and ceramic capacitors were easy to identify and insert. The next step is to apply half of the thermal grease onto one heatsink, securing the regulator onto it, and the other half of the grease onto the other heatsink, securing the transistor to it. Based on their numbers, insert both chips into their corresponding holes on the PCB. Bend all of the components legs so they don't fall out. Next, remove the red stickers from the coil. Remove the insulation from the ends of the copper thread with a knife or by burning it away. Insert one end into the marked hole on the circuit board, insert the audio and power jack too. Solder everything in place including the copper thread end. Secure the coil to the PCB with super glue. Take the piece of wire and strip the end. Loop it around the secondary coil once and solder the ends in place. Trim the compens legs. Insert the two pin header and secure it in place too. After that, secure the four risers to the underside of the circuit board with screws from the top. And we're done! Just connect the two pins to a 12 to 24 volt power supply via some cables. So cool! Okay, not so much. But it's way cooler in the dark, and it was pretty awesome to build. I think it's definitely worth the money. I would love to hear what you think about it. Let me know in the comments. Also, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next weekend with another project.